coming back at you again with another Yu-Gi-Oh! unboxing. This time we have one of these power cubes. That's right, these dreaded things. I know we've all heard bad things about them. So this one in particular has two booster packs, a duels pack, five vintage cards, five rares, and 55 commons. And apparently one out of every two cubes has a mega pack. So you can usually get these at Walmart. They're about like $20. And they're promising like great cards on the back there like Monster Reborn and Raigeki. I mean, I think the best I've ever pulled out of these were Solemn Judgment. But. So let's. Now, the reason I picked this one up is. Oh, look. It showed me what was in there, and there is a Mega Pack. So that's why I decided to pick this up, and is a 2015 Mega Pack, actually. And. Seeing what's there for 2015, we have some pretty good value within that one. I think Artifact Scythe was the high card of the Mega Packs for that one. So, let's see if we can pull that one. Alright, so let's get this open here. Alright, so let's, try, let's just dump it all out here. Alright, well starting off, first off, uh, one of our foil cards is uh, Homunculus, whom, Homunculus, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce that, Homunculus, the alchemic being. So, I guess that's pretty cool to have. And what do we have for our two packs here? We have, or three packs, we have... Dimensional Guardians, which pretty much is like standard, seems like in every one of these. And Invasion of Chaos, so that's going to be cool to look open. And there's our 2015 Mega Pack. But real quick, let's just go over see here what else we got. We got a Refusion. We got a Zephrath. A Fusion Reverse. Fright for a Wolf. And I believe that's our five foil cards, right? It comes with five foils. Is it? Five rare cards. So I guess those count as the rare cards. So let's just put those here for now. And then just a quick look at the 55 commons. Normally it's just like a bulk lot from sets. They can usually they're kind of newer sets. Like these are ones from Extreme Force. So, looks like still Extreme Force here. Flames of Destruction. Usually these are nothing too, too crazy. Pretty sure we... Maybe, I think we got one of those already. I've had that happen before in these... That they just give you multiple copies of the same card. So, Cybernetic Horizon, we had um, Dark Illusion in there. And these are our five vintage cards. So we got a Root Water from Legend of the Blue Eyes. We have Miss Surizami, Legend of Blue Eyes. 13th Grave, Red Medicine, and Silver Fang. Those are all actually from Legend of Blue Eyes, so. Nothing too crazy with the 55 commons. So let's start off with this one Dimensional Guardians. So let's see if we get anything great. Hopefully we get a foil in here, because you're not guaranteed a foil. Starting off, we got Cyber Petite Angel. And nope, no foil. So we got Double Cypher, Cypher Bit, Cyber Angel Idaton, and Mirror Resonator. Uh, 
Oh boy, do I want to do the Megaton or Invasion of Chaos? Let's do Invasion of Chaos. I'm just going to retro pack in here. So now can we get a foil out of one of these? That would be awesome. Let's see, we got DD Borderline. Burning Algae. Stealth Bird. He's bringing back memory. And we did. We got DD Designator. That's awesome. Don't think this is too crazy to get, but it's nice that we got a foil card out of a retro pack. And we got Stray Lambs behind it as well. That's awesome. We I can't believe we pulled a foil out of one of these. We got a Chaos Greed, Torpedo Fish, Crimson Ninja, and Tower of Babel. I don't think I've ever pulled a Hollow car card out of these packs before. Now the big boy of this. Let's see if we can get something great from this. All right. Infernoid Attendell. Form Pal Spike Eagle. Stellar Nova Wave. Bujin Intervention. Always have clever names for these Bujin cards. We got Level Lifter. And the band played on. All right, here's our rare. We got Flash Knight. And we got Cleefort Stealth. Okay, definitely take that. And our secret is Yang Zing Path. All right, I don't believe I have this one. Not crazy, but I'll definitely take it. And, oh wow, we got Jinzo Jector. I will definitely take that. That is cool. That is really cool looking. So, nothing too, too crazy out of this pack, but... Definitely worth a shot. Then we got also Super Heavy Samurai Swordsman, Form Pal Revival, Infernoid, uh, Infor, excuse me, Infernoid Seistmas, Form Pal Fire Muffler Lion, Last Minute Cancel, and Sonata the Melodious Diva. All right, so nothing too too crazy. Let's get all of the foil cards out of in here. So overall nothing too too crazy. But just a brief recap. So people always say, are these really worth the money? I've to answer that, I've gotten multiple of these. A majority of them are definitely not worth it. Um, but I have had some luck with a couple. There was one where I, it was Dimensional Guardians and I got the Galaxy Eyes monster. So that was pretty cool. And again, I, th it, I got one with Solemn Judgment in it. So, um, But yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for this one. So... Um, hopefully more unboxings coming in the future, so stay tuned. I'll see you guys next time.